Yuringo? Great. Thanks a lot, Yuringo. <laughs> Uh, How am I going to find someone thing. to bless the cauldron? Let's find, um... Mm. Let's find his wife. Yuringo? Are you there? Nope. Nothing. His spirit's long gone. So much for his help. His spirit's... Okay. Uh, let's talk to Teddy upstairs. Even if I did try and summon Yuringo like the book... And besides... There's no objects on him to use for the spell. No, I'm afraid I'm going to have to find the help of another ghost now. Curse you. Hello, Teddy. Oh. All right, that was... Hi, Ben. Hello, Anna. How are you? Well... Well, I managed to open the witch's secret door downstairs. The only problem is, it just led me to a basement. There was a... mirror in there, though. A kind of magic mirror. He talked to me about a spell to protect us from the witch. Oh, that sounds very good. I'd very much like to be protected from her. There's a catch, though. We need a few special things. A raven's feather, a strand of hair from the one you need protection from, a blessing from the dead over the cauldron they are in, then I need to heat them to a boil together, and then I need to dip in an amulet charged by the moon. You haven't seen any of these things around by any chance. No, I'm sorry, Anna. I haven't seen any of those things. Maybe the witch has some in this basement, or maybe she's got some books about them. Maybe? Yeah, that's true. Maybe she does. What did you- I think that maybe- or maybe... I better- Okay, um- Thanks, Ben. Uh, should be able to look at the ceiling now. According to the blueprints, that spot is where the chimney used to be. I wonder if I can break through it somehow. I can't reach it. Mm. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yes. This is it. Our way out. Just one small problem, though. How am I going to get up there? Hi, Ben. Hello. I better... Okay. Ooh, handkerchief chain. This would be perfect for an escape rope. Except, I need to weigh the end down somehow so it won't fall when I climb it. Wasn't this just perfect? We have a paperweight. There. Done. This should work nicely as an escape rope. Let's go. Aha! If I swing it around and get enough momentum, I should be able to throw it all the way through. Alright, here goes. Behold! The magic of party tricks. Hi, Ben. Hello. I better- Okay. To the attic. My gosh. More machines. And is that a... Dragon? Kerosene Poor little Kerosene. thing. What's the witch doing to him? This thing I have. It's really quite strong. I should be careful not to hurt anyone with it. Um, I think I've done enough damage. Oh my, for a witch, she sure has a lot of machinery around this place. Strange, isn't it? I don't really know what it is or what it does. I think that's a pretty good reason not to touch it. This looks a lot like Grandpa's generator on the farm. He used his to power the house. 
So I guess this might do the same? No, no. Oh no! The poor little dragon. The witch must have done this to him so he would power that machine. Don't worry, little guy. I'll get you out of there. Little dragon's running away. Must have done. The poor go. little guy. I should help him out of there. You want to come with me? I'm escaping. I'm not sure he knows what to do with himself now. All right, come on then. Don't worry. You're safe with me now. Oh. I guess I just have a dragon in my pocket. No more will the dragon do the witch's dirty deeds. That crack looks pretty big. Must be a bit of a weak spot in the roof there. I could- I should really climb up and see if I even need to first. I could break through- I should really- Hello, Mr. Ah, Raven. This couldn't have worked out any better. The paperweight's buried into the ground down the bottom. Oh, look. There's the witch. Straight down below on this side. Dang. She's so close. I'm lucky she didn't see the handkerchief, Jane. This is it. The way out. Once this protection spell is ready, we can finally get out of here. Oh, how pretty. Feels good to be outside under the stars again. This should be a good place to try and charge this amulet. Let's see if this works. Hmm. I don't think that did anything. The mirror did say it had to be a full moon. I wonder if the light's not strong enough? I can't reach. Okay, I'll just rest it up here. Neat. No, the mirror, I wonder. Oh, how the light. Really? The moon? <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. It's focusing the light from the moon into a concentrated beam. So, an amulet charged by the moon. Let's see if this works. Oh, pretty. It's all blue and glowing now. I guess that means it's charged. Fully charged, of course. Hello, Mr. Raven. What luck, a raven. So says the raven. Hey, Mr. Raven, um... Would you mind letting me have one of your feathers? Guess not. I'll take that as a no then, huh? I choose you, dragon. Hmm. I don't want to hurt the po No, I re Uh, let's see. Something shiny? Nope. Doesn't work. Ah, there's Aria. Yeah. <laughs> Not too happy about seeing another bird on his roof. At least he's distracted now. What is that thing? Jeez, the witch has some weird machines. At least it's given the bird a place to build his nest. It's too far. That looks a little out of place. I wonder if the roof is cracked or damaged there. This is too far away. That looks a little out of pl I wonder if the root. Hmm. That's actually a really good idea. Only, if I want to try doing anything to that spot, it might be easier from inside. Alright. Fair enough. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, that spot should be right around the bird's nest. Bird's feather is as good as mine. Okay, let's go. Yep. All right. Here's my chance. 
Easy does it, this. Anna. Just reach up, pluck one out. Ah, I'm sorry. I think I better get out of here. Yep, yeah, let's leave. You got what I don't did. think he was very impressed by that, but hey, I got a raven's feather for the spell now. This thing I, I should, um. I'll just leave it as it is. <laughs> I don't think he was. Poor little guy has had enough excitement for one day. Hmm. Really? All right. Let's this go. thing I have, I should be careful. Not Hi, Ben. Hello. I better. Okay. I All right. What else do I need? Right, we're here. And I need to find another ghost. No. Let's find a way to get the nope. pipe to break. the witch's dumping ground. Everything looks like leftovers of spells, witchcraft, and people. It fell down there when I blew it up with my power. Wow, that still sounds really, really bizarre. I don't want to be too reckless with this power. I think I'll leave that be. Mm, no, I shouldn't use it on that. On this? You know, that looks a lot like the stuff the witch tried to feed me. Even if I could reach, I wouldn't dare touch any of that. It looks like the witch- Everything looks like- Peep- Even if I- It fell down- Wow! I can't reach- I think I've done it- It's already open. Hmm. It's already open. It's already. It's already. Necessarily messy. That won't work. I'm not sure what good that would do. Uh, I can't actually reach. Nope. It's already open. Too far away. Hello again. You open this door. Welcome. On. Who is Hans Lind? Who is Hans Lind? <laughs> Hans? Where did, did you hear about Hans? Um, it's just written on that science award you have hanging up. Why do you have an award hanging up that's by someone else, anyway? That's none of your b business. Wait, you've been in my basement? <laughs> uh, let's talk about something else, shall we? Ugh. That's enough talking for now. Then open the door. Uh, nope. let me think about it. Ugh. Goodbye. I have... There's a section of pipe here that I could probably... Oh, there. Just take it. I don't see any point holding on to this pipe, though. Mm. 
That should stop any water from coming through now. There's a must be I need it. No, this Well, it worked. All the hairs floated to the top. <sighs> so, so gross. <laughs> the sink's all full. The sink's all. I have a sinking feeling. It's already open. Skeleton scenes must have been quite important to them, whoever they were. I get the handkerchief now, or do I need to get all the fingers? <laughs> this Whoa. guy is determined to hold on to his handkerchief. I have to think. to dislodge Okay, the finger. Mm. There we go. Yes. We now go. I just have to get it out of the ooze from way up here. Mm. I feel I feel bad for taking the handkerchief. I hope they don't mind too much. Shouldn't. Uh, that ooze took hold of the handkerchief pretty quickly. Hopefully, I can still get it out. Hopefully, it's too far. All right, we need the string now. It's too far away. This is too far. going to be perfect for picking up something. Something that's out of reach, I suppose? Uh, apparently I combined the spoon and the string somehow. Oh, it's a hook. Yep. And I think I'm, I'm starting to lose like, a little bit of my consciousness. Which is weird because I slept so long earlier. But, I don't know. Alright. We have it combined. Let's get the handkerchief. Perfect shot! Alright, easy does it. Up we go. A bit goopy, but I still got it. Yes. Okay. A dirty old handkerchief with the initial J stitched in the corner. From what I read in that book, I could try summoning the ghost of whoever owned this. I just need to... Uh, sleep on it. Right. I've been talking with the ghost. I said, please, please don't. Open this door right now. Even if I did try and bes. No. Pretty sure the J is for your ring, though. It's not bedtime, it's a s- So if this book is correct, then this should help bring the ghost of whoever that is in the pit? Well, I've tried sillier things so far that have worked out. Here goes nothing, I guess. Hey, sleeping on ooze. All right, got to sleep, got to sleep. Come on, Anna, no more being awake now. I'm not even sleepy, though. Hmph. What would Grandpa say to help me sleep? He'd say, Come now, Anna. Lay down your head. The time for sleep is here. Come now, Anna. Shut your eyes. The dark, you need not fear. I will. But, Grandpa... You said you'd read to me tonight, remember? Oh, yes. You're quite right. 
quite right. Why don't you bring something over here? Well, if it was day, I could leave to play. So long as I didn't leave the farm. But Grandpa says it's much too dangerous to leave at night. Anna! You know you're forbidden to leave the house come nightfall. Yes. Sorry, Grandpa. <sighs> That's quite all right. Never mind, then. Never mind. Why don't you get that book and we can read a little, okay? Okay. No, not right now. Grandpa's waiting for me to find a book. No. No telekinesis in this dream. Or memory. No, not... No. He'll probably get grumpy with me if... Um, Grandpa? Have you picked a book yet? Come on now. It's getting late. Oh, what's that one back there? I don't think I've seen it before. Hang on, let me just see it first. Let's see what happens if... Lots of tales. Goosey tales. Tales from the Upper Palatinate. Children's and household tales. Grandpa bought all of these for me from the village, but I know them all by heart. I've read these ones so many times, though. Surely there's something else. Okay, yeah. I have to get more number Uh, I found a book, but I don't think I can reach it. Do you think you could get it down for me? Oh, you don't mean... Well, I don't know about that one. I know. Why don't we just read one of the fairy tales you love so much? We've read them over and over, though. We haven't read this one before. Oh, Hannah. I'm really not so sure. Come this down. one is about someone who... Well... Not all stories should be heard by young ones. But, Grandpa, I'm not such a little kid anymore, you know? I can't read kids' stories forever. <sighs> You're quite right. Quite right. But let me tell you something first. Okay. You must know, these stories, they're about scary kinds of people. People who are evil who will trick and deceive you. These are why... why we stay safe on our farm, you see? Oh... but... but... that time I broke your music machine. I lied about it, remember? I tried to trick you, so... was that evil? Oh, no! No, no, no! Of course not! We are good people, Anna. We just... Make mistakes. Well, and evil people some can't people make we think are bad might just be making mistakes then. <sighs> Anna, sweet thing. That's enough of that kind of talk. So long as we never leave our farm, we don't need to worry, all right? All right. If you say so, Grandpa. Come on now. Hop into bed, and I'll get the book for you. Oh. There you go. <clears throat> right then. Who rides so late where winds blow wild? It is the father clutching his child. He holds the girl tight in his arms. He clasps her safely. He keeps her warm. My girl, why cover your face in fear? Oh, don't you see the devil near? The devil with his eyes that fright. My girl, it is only a mist of white. Sweet lass, oh come and join me too. Such clever games, I'll play with you. Ooh. Uh, Anna? Psst, Anna. Anna, please wake up! This isn't happening! It's not happening! <laughs> uh, guess he found a... Uh... Guess he found the um... wife. Hello there. How are you? Yes. Hi, Anna. I'm fine, but... Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
My name is Anna. Pleased to meet you. Um... Anna? Just wait, Ben. I'm trying to talk to the ghost. Oh, <laughs> silly me. You were talking to... Wait, mm. what? To the ghost? Trying to? I'm not sure, but I think... You can't talk, can you? Hmm, I see. Okay, well... I... I'm sorry to summon you like this, miss. It's just, I was kidnapped, you see, by the witch. I think you probably know her. Yes, um, the thing is, I need your help with something. A spell. Wait! Oh. Don't go! Rats. I hope she hasn't gone too far away. Uh... Oh, there's something written on the side here. Non-toxic. Made from paraffin, wax, and pigment. Crayon. Paraffin, wax, and pigment. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go back down. <laughs> Open this door right now. It's non-toxic. All right, little fella, you hungry? Some, uh, yummy paraffin? Whoa, he really gobbled that up. I think he's ready to start blowing out fire somewhere. So cute. All right. Fiery dragon. He's such a cute little guy. So Your time to shine, little guy. I choose you, dragon! Excellent work, little guy! Back in the pocket you go. That wouldn't be you. The witch is culture, so that's the. I just need to dip and we'll be. Ugh. Who knows what the. Right, yeah, I get it. Oh, it's really shiny now. I think it worked. Well, for my sake, I hope it did. Guess I might have to find out soon enough. Here. The amulet has been formed. My words have been heeded. You've done well, dear Anna. And you've indeed succeeded. Are you going to be okay down here? I wish I didn't have to leave you. Please worry not for me, for this is my home. I'm worried for you out there, all alone. I'll be alright. I have to be. I have to. For Grandpa. Then waste not. Go forth and continue your quest. I wish you good luck and all of the best. You as well. Thank you again, Mirror. I won't forget you. All right. Time to tell Ben and get out of this place. We gotta get out of this place. I'm not sure I even want to know what that used to belong to. Need this back real quick. We are back again. Five minutes ago I saw her. As she answered into the room, she opened my eyes. The witch's cauldron, so where all the magic happens. I've done everything I needed to do with the cauldron now. I have one last chat with the mirror. First, a talking towel. Oh. I finished the spell, so I should get going now. I'd love to take him with me, only I think he might be a bit too big to carry around. If only we had a hand, Mary could transfer to. Alas, alack, tis not to be. Oh, one second.
go. And what's this about? Hmm. Ah, this um, fun concept art. Or just art. Ben. Okay, that's up. everything, Ben. I have it all prepared now. Ben? What's wrong? <coughs> ben? Wait, what happened to the hole and the handkerchiefs? Oh. <gasps> no, it, it can't be. The witch. Evening, Anna. But how did you... Quite the fun-filled evening you've had yourself here, hmm? I think it's about time we put an end to all this nonsense, though. Don't you? No. I've come so close. I'm not quitting now. I have to escape. Escape? Ha! Huh. Foolish child. Do you have any idea how long I've planned for this? Did you really think you would escape me? Hmm? Yeah, well, this was not a part of my plan. Yeah, well, this is just another part of my plan. What are you talking about? I figured you would try and stop me, so I've made a little of my own magic. What? What does that mean? <laughs> It doesn't matter now, anyway. It's time to put an end to this. Ah! Ben? Uh, nope, not Ben. You wretched little runt. You deceive me? You leave him alone. Haven't you done enough already? Oh, I've had enough of this. Of both of you. <gasps> I'm going to enjoy this. Hold still, children. This will only take a moment. Oh, spirits of the dead. Oh, ghouls of misfortune. Anna, I'm scared. It's okay, Ben. You don't have to worry. Rise from thy slumber. Disable those impugn. I'm here, Ben. I'll protect us. I don't know what she's doing. But it can't be good. I have to think of something and quit. I don't think I'll be able to talk her out of it. No, I can't. I can't seem to focus properly. It's like there's some kind of protection around her. I can't use anything from here. She's too far away. And with that ghost between us, I can't get any closer. Okay. How about this? I can't use anything with that. What oh, is the ghost? It looks like some kind of spirit being summoned by the witch. Surely it's meant for something evil. I should keep clear. No way! Alright, it's worth a shot. Mm, no, I can't. I guess I. I need to do just the standard. A protection spell? It can't be. How could you? Are we still alive, Anna? I don't want to look. I don't know how you did that, child, but it won't last forever. I'll break it down eventually. I could throw something at And besides, the witch would just summon another one. No, I have to think more carefully about this. Okay. I could throw in beside. No. It looks like some kind. Surely it's. 
It looks like some shirt. I can't you and with that. No, I could hurt him. I should leave back. Poor guy's too scared to move. That's bad. He's been here even. That's it. I just have to wait for the right moment to try. Now. The one. Okay, got it. And so, with the witch's plan thwarted, the girl and the bear finally made their escape. The Running bits. deep into the woods, her goal now in sight, Anna knew just the place they would need to seek next. The town of Wunderhorn, as the mirror described, lay in wait for the pair to make their arrival. But the journey would be long. The quest had just begun, and their run-in with evil would not be their last. Hold. Hold on, Anna. Oh, Ben, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Just, just a, a quick rest is all. I have a good feeling about this path. I feel like Wundahorn's close now. I'm starting to sense a kind of energy. Oh, wow. Maybe... Maybe it's the wizard. Maybe? It feels like it's getting closer, though. Like it's... Coming toward Right you. around the corner. Ah! Oh, my. We're all a little nervy here, aren't we? Hmm? Ah, you... Fantastic Mr. You Fox. can talk? Um... Anna? Is he the wizard? Hmm, no strange bear fellow. A wizard I am not, but I must confess, I couldn't help but pry on your recent conversation. In this town, Wunderhorn, I believe I could be of some assistance. Trickster. I wonder if a kind of arrangement isn't too much to ask, my dear? Oh, of course. If I can help, then I'd be happy to. Excellent. And please do call me Reynard. Pleased to meet you, Reynard. I am Anna. And this is my friend, Ben. Well, dear Anna, you see I am quite famished. And these woods, you see, they are scarce on rations for a creature such as myself. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, come now, bear fellow. What are you taking me for? A savage. I simply require fruit from the tree, which my limbs are a little ill-equipped to retrieve. Now, if you could be a deer. Okay. Reynard's waiting patiently for the fruit. Best not to keep him waiting. Hmm. It seems I can't reach that. Alright, we'll be right back. For now, I'll be pushing back to Genshin. Or, I might just go sleep. So the stream will be over for now. And uh, after I bring everything back upstairs, let's see if I still have the energy to keep playing. Uh, in the meantime, stream should be ending a little bit, and I'll save my game here. The Captain video is created under Creative Commons Attribution Not Commercial Share Alike 4.0 International License. Alright, and for now, end the stream right here. 
You can ring my bell, ring my bell.